when I was at Skid Row, I saw something that was really interesting, and it wasn't a specific person, I guess. It wasn't an event that took place, um, but it was it was it was the raw humanity. Um, it, it's really interesting to see that in one of the worst places in America that you can find the best people. These people, and I say this in the most literal sense, they, they, they have nothing. And so they have nothing to lose. Um, if you wipe away all the glitter and all the glamour that you find on everyday people, they, they might not even intend to. But if you wipe that away, you, you get to meet the people on Skid Row. That's who they are. And so what impacted me the most is the genuineness of heart that they have. Because of the confession of your faith and because you've repented of your sins, I now take great pleasure in baptizing you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. to me is because when I see all those those people people will see when they see them they see people but we we went down there we see lost souls that's why uh, it's really really touching to see all the lost souls down uh, Skid Row and uh, make uh, make you think and make you want to do more for God like just seeing them uh, there's so much people that lost down there. You just want to go out. It doesn't matter, you know, how, uh, how low and how great they are. You just want to sh uh, share them about Jesus. None but me could know how all of you raptures me. I can look away. I pray that I the water baptisms were impactful in that um, we see people who normally get ignored and pushed under the rug and we go down to Skid Row and we speak to them about God and show them the love and grace of God and we and we try you know to teach them and baptize them in Jesus name just as Jesus commanded that we we teach all nations and so it's impactful in that these homeless people, um, they're the people that do just get bypassed and nobody gives them a second thought. Nobody gives them an opportunity or gives them their time. But it was impactful because even, even them, you know, they're, we saw all kinds of things when we were down there. You know, people selling drugs and, and doing them right in front of us. But, um, but it was impactful in seeing that no matter where you are, no matter what pit they were in, that even there, God's hand was there and reached them. And it was beautiful to see each and every person that we met um, and seeing their lives changed. Captive to the tide, no more to walk Without you by my side, my love, how beautiful. The most impactful part to me of Skid Row was, I didn't expect Skid Row to be that big. Skid Row is actually, it's like a city within a city of hundreds of hundreds of homeless people hurting. And the most impactful part, and the greatest part to me was to see them get baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. That's what I, what I loved about it. Come all you weary, your heavy 
find rest for your souls My yoke is easy My burden is kind I'll take yours upon me You can take mine really life-changing and I just feel so blessed to have gone it was just we saw a lot of crazy things there's people like literally just doing like drugs in a circle and like in the midst of all that I met honestly some of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life and it was just great seeing people who were hopeless and lost that like, go to service and we offered them hope we offered them God and just seeing them take that like if they really wanted it and they took it we just saw them like being consumed by like, God's presence and it was just really good Back home uh, in Baltimore and DC, uh, people were everywhere. People were homeless, people do drugs, alcohol, the same, but people get picked up. Please come, you know, people get hurt. Here, please don't care. I mean, I saw so many uh, people just rolling up in front of cops, doing drugs, it was just, it was heartbreaking. I was like, wow, no one cares enough about this person, this person to, to tell them, hey, you don't need that, or hey, man, that that's not going to satisfy you, but Jesus will. So I just thought going around just that little section of Los Angeles was it was it was shocking. It, it but it, it helped me to understand that every day there's people that need to be, you know, talked to. Everybody, someone need to be witnessed to. Somebody needs love. Someone needs the the, the, the gospel. This was my fourth time going on the LA missions trip and um, I can say that every time that I've gone has been special. But this time especially because um, I was able to see all of these people on the streets and it made me realize like I was one of them, you know. At one point I was I was one of them and you know why did God choose me? But it's exciting because we got to see these people filled with the Holy Ghost. I believe ten got the Holy Ghost and it was such a rewarding experience to see these lives be completely changed and healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Rest for your soul. I, I was blessed to see lives be changed, be transformed, be healed and saved, saved in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, if you have a burden for souls, I encourage you to go and plant a seed of hope, love and salvation. And I promise your life will be changed forever. God bless.